Hi. So this is going to be a review and tips for beginners on the Advanced Elements Air Volution Inflatable Kayaks. My wife and I have two of these. We've been paddling about a year on them. So we're relative beginners, but we've learned a lot in that first year that we think this will help you new kayakers and people who are considering buying the uh, Air Volution. First and foremost, so I just bought this yesterday. I've already been out today paddling with it. We're all done. When you unroll it, first things first, a little drain plug in the bottom right here that unscrews. Later in the video, I'm gonna show you what you need to do with that to make it much, much easier to function and to not cut your fingers. This is the drain valve, drain plug in the floor. The way they design these, you unscrew it like this, and it drains. The problem is this edge right there, it looks knurled, but it's not. And this is screwed in and your hands are wet and you go to reach in here to get this off, you will not be able to. You can't pinch it hard enough and right around the rim is very sharp. So now my wife and I, we've never cut our fingers, but it feels like you're going to, and you can't grip it. So this brand new one, first thing I'm gonna do, I've already done it, is I file that little edge off, just that little bitty lip. See, this is after, I've already done it. And so now those little knurls, your fingers can grip on it. So how did I do it? I did not use one of these. <laughs> that was my first instinct. Shave it off with this. Do not use one of these because if you make one slip, you've just made a $1,200 plus mistake on your kayak. So do not use one of these. I use just a regular file, but I mean, even a fingernail file would work, right? Just get in there. The, the plastic itself is really soft. I can't do it with one hand, but you can get the idea. And it took me like 30 seconds to just file that little sharp edge off around. That will make all the difference in the world out on the lake or on the beach and you can actually reach in and grab it. Okay? You're welcome. Next is the valves. First I should say this is the Airvolution 1, the single. We got the double for my wife because she's taller and it fits better. And I'll go into more detail once we get this pumped up. The valves on these things you save yourself the embarrassment by watching what I'm gonna show you. These are push in, push out valves. In other words, you get down here like this. When the valve is down like that, that lets air in and out freely. When it is up, it's closed. Now air is going to stay inside. That's pretty important. And you'll learn why if you don't learn that the first time you go to blow it up. And that is this. If you start to blow it up with it down, you take your pump, you put it on there like that, and you go through all the work of pumping this whole thing up. And then you go to take this off, boom, it's gonna let your air out that you just worked so hard to put in. And it's loud when it happens, and it will call attention to your ass, and everybody in the area will laugh at you, okay? <laughs> so don't do that. When you go to pump it up, make sure it is in the up position, okay? So there's there's your first, uh, first biggie. Ask me how I know that trick, okay? So up position on the valves. Next, you're gonna get this pump comes with it. Very simple to operate, but there's a couple of things. Make sure the top, this will inflate and deflate your kayak. So start out, make sure it's in the inflate position, which is noted right there in writing. That says inflate, I-F, I-N-F. When you go to deflate, you'll unscrew it and add it to there. Okay, simple. Next is, this is a dual action pump, which means right here, get that out of the way. This says single, and this side says double. What that means is when it's over here, like that, when you pump, 
it's going to, when you go up, it's adding air to your boat, and when you go down, it's adding air to your boat, okay? So it's faster. In the beginning, it's faster. Again, let me move it here. What that means is, at first, you're not, there's not a lot of pressure. So this gets it inflating quickly, but eventually this will get very difficult. That upstroke will be hard. You'll be pushing, ah, you're breathing hard. So when it gets too hard, then you switch this over to the single action. Then it's only gonna pump on the way down, but that's where you have all the leverage. Okay. Again, instructions kind of say this, but it's not super clear. Okay, so you pump it up. Next, what we found is, since each boat has two chambers to pump up, we bought an electric pump for one of them. Love this thing. It's the only one I've ever used, so I can't compare it to anything else, but I bought the iRocker brand pump, and then there's the battery. And so while I'm manually pumping up one chamber, I plug it into the other one, and it's pumping up that one. And then my wife's doing hers. As soon as we get done with one boat, we go over and do theirs. And so it pumps everything up much, much quicker. Okay? Okay, so this is what it looks like when you're pumped up. And then you take this off. If you've done it correctly, like I said earlier in the video, it will just come off and not let all your air out. See, that's it. And you put the little cap in. Some of you people are like, why is he explaining this? Trust me. Same thing, undo it, boom. Now, to deflate, I'm not gonna do much because I got more to show you. To deflate now, you push this in. I'm gonna just barely bump it. See? But to deflate it, you push that all the way in. We'll do that at the end. Okay, so now you've got your boat all pumped up. Pumps off to the side. Okay. You'll have your seat in here. I'm not gonna actually put it in because it's pretty dang easy. You just clip it in, whatever. Okay, so here's your boat. I'm gonna get in and show you. Now I am five foot nine tall, about 215 pounds. When I get in, my feet are right here at the end and my legs are even bent. If I stretch them all the way out, I'm right there. In other words, I would not want this boat one inch shorter or it would be too short for me. Okay, so this is why we bought the dual boat, the Air Evolution 2 for my wife, because she is taller. And when she got in, <laughs> she was like this with her legs bent, you know, no room. So we got the double for her. Okay, so there's the boat. Let me get out. Let's see what other tips. I think that's it. For the boat itself i'll go over some other stuff in just a minute okay so to deflate it take this out now here's a little trick too when you go to shove this in all that 10 to 12 psi is going to come flying out of here a lot of force and your head's right here your ear is you're going to be deafened if you put your head right here so what that means is we have learned to do it with two hands we plug your ear with one finger and that's the ear facing the boat and then push it in with the other. Sounds silly. I don't really know if I, I can't demonstrate it with one hand, but basically we plug our ear like this with one hand and then the other one puts that in, okay? Because it's loud. I guarantee if you, you get hit by that, it's gonna hurt, okay? So I will just stand aside and do it like this. Now, unlike a raft that you just unplug like that and let it sit for a minute and start rolling it up and squishing the air out, it doesn't quite work the same with these drop stitch floors. 
that let out a lot of the air, but that's why they have the deflate function on these pumps is because you want to suck all the air out to where they're really flat and that way they roll up better. Okay, I got my pump set up to deflate. This one's on deflate and my electric one's on deflate. So I'm just gonna hit it. And it just sucks the air out. This one's on deflate. I'll do it manually. Okay, and as you go, you'll see it start to suck these things down flat. And you want all the air up because again, it helps you roll it up. You see that moving? And then you hear the pump. Okay, so that flat part. floor is flat. Okay, and I'll do the same for the top. Okay, the boat is completely flat. It's also dry. If it needs to be dried, you know, you can reach up underneath there and dry it all out. I like to just leave it in the sun with the wind blowing, but if you can't, dry it off. And then you just roll it back up like you, like it came. Okay, here's some other tips though that you're going to love this part for beginners. Buy yourself a tote to keep everything else that you're gonna be taking with you every single time. Make it big enough for the pump to sit in. You can just throw everything in here. Throw your pump in here, your little foot rests, these little cell phone holders. You know, you put your cell phone in here, seal it up, it's waterproof. That way you can still do all your Instagram stuff while you're out in the water. We throw a safety whistle on ours. And then your life jackets, of course, go in there. Your seats, all of them go in here and it makes it easier to go in and out. For your paddles, you know, these do not come with paddles, so you gotta buy them. I really, really like our Aquabound paddles. They're made in America, fantastic quality, super light. However, we learned something. They make two piece and four piece. We bought my wife, this piece first because we didn't know. So it's a two piece, great paddle. But guess what? My four piece breaks down even smaller and goes into here. And otherwise they're the identical paddle. So see mine, four piece, all breaks down and goes in here. Hers, much longer, pain in the ass. So get the Aquabound, get the length that's right for you. They have a calculator on their website, but get the four piece, it'll just make it easier. You know, if you think about it, you're buying an inflatable because you don't have the room for a full size hard shell kayak, right? So save yourself the room too and get the collapsible paddles, the four piece. And that is it. The only other thing, this, you know, sitting on those, the thin little seats, after a couple hours, your butt can get kind of tired. I bought one of these off of Amazon. It's the weirdest thing. It's meant for a car seat. But put that under you and it saves your rear, okay? It's also floats, so if you tip over, it's not gonna go. Oh, here's your very last tip. Get yourself some waterproof sandals that float. Some of them are waterproof, but you get them in the water and they'll sink. So these can go in the water and it doesn't hurt them, but they, they come off, they float. These are Hoka 1-1, fantastic. Super comfortable to wear them around. Get them wet, kick them off. I hope that helps somebody. I wish I'd known a lot of this information when we first started kayaking, but we love the sport. It's a great couple sport that we can do flat water uh, nice, and nice and leisurely. Okay.